Hello friends. I hope all of you are doing well and I'm meeting you after a long time. You might be wondering what this instrument is. Well, this is what we call a crumb horn and sometimes spelt with a C and sometimes with a K. C-R-U-M-H-O-R-N. I like to spell it with a C, so I call it a crumb horn or a crumb horn. Now, this is a very ancient instrument. It comes to us from the time of the Middle Ages and then, of course, it also survived into the Renaissance and into the early Baroque period of Western classical music. And it is a reed instrument. It has uh, finger holes here in front and it has two little keys, one here in front and one at the back. It also has a thumb hole here. And it is a reed instrument because if you remove this cap, you will see the reed and you then put the cap on like that and you blow into the instrument from this little hole here. Uh, and uh, so the lip really doesn't touch the reed at all. Now this instrument was very well known. It ha comes in a family of instruments. This is a tenacrum horn. So the lowest note here is a C and you can play up to an octave and a D, E and F. So uh, 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 a few more notes beyond the octave. Uh, usually an octave and a fourth. Now, what's really interesting is, so this is a tenacrum horn, you have a bigger one, which is called the basscrum horn, and then you have a smaller one called the altochrum horn, and then you also have the soprano crum horn, or crum horn. Now, there are lots of pieces written for this, and they usually play as a family, all four of them, you call it a, 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 a consort of crum horns. And today I'm going to play for you a piece which was collected in the 1400s in the Renaissance by a gentleman called Tielman Susato. Now Susato collected a number of different uh, uh, pieces like this, which was very popular at the time in Europe. And this one is one of them. And I'm going to play to you on this tenor chrome horn. Here's a piece collected by Tielman Susato. <laughs> 